thank you guys for coming back welcome to my channel mark canal uh, the crochet and the knitting and the craft section yes for my returning subscribers thank you very much for the support i don't take you for granted i bless god for you each day and for my new subscribers please subscribe and share like and uh, yes and let's keep the growth so today we are going to learn how to do crocheting if you are so new if you are absolute beginner you know you don't know where to after doing the chain the stitch chain what else can you do so that's what we are going to do and i'm going to use uh, just go slowly for you to know okay so first you start with this knot you make your slip knot you don't know how to do it i've done it in several videos you can as well rewatch. so this is how then uh, if you are a right-handed person this is how you hold your needle okay like this and put it inside okay make it not to be very tight because if it's very tight it means the tension will be high okay yes but for the first time if you are learner tension will be part of you for some time okay but don't worry just keep going and do just follow through okay so this is how you do the first you rub your your yarn like this okay like this okay then you pull through or what we call the pullover okay like this like this like this so the chain you are making depends on your project of the day okay of what you are making okay of course every project will differ with if you are using a pattern or maybe you are just following your imagination yes because uh, many people still there are some that use there are people who use the patterns there are people who don't use the patterns so if you are a official person and you like following the videos just to learn so follow through if you're a person who likes to read the, the pattern soon i'll be writing the patterns and attaching them so for them that uh, feel they need the, the written uh, the book uh, patterns okay because we are all different so this is how you go mm, i'm going to use the single stitch okay if you are absolute beginner I know you will thank me for this so relax make sure your your this is flowing okay make sure it's flowing across okay so let's So make sure the first time when you make your stitches, make sure you count the number of stitches that you expect your chain to have because of this last knot, this part, as you can see, you have to make sure you capture this part, this, okay? Because in, in case if you just leave it like this, you see how it looks like, it will look strange. So you capture it here. You pull through, you pull over. Okay, 
is I think let me do it again something I pull over like this okay then like this then I turn before I turn I usually take one chain like this okay so you turn when you turn let's uh, let's use the the outer the outer stitch okay so we go here no let's say we go through here okay like this okay it's much easier for you to start it this way Hope you're following. Pull over till you finish like this. be a stitch here okay so this is basically how you do it so you turn take one stitch then you pick your here you pull over you pull over you stitch through you pull over you stitch through yes and even with this stitch you'll find you're still uh, forming a pattern that you can as well use it for many other things so what I will say if you're an absolute beginner please stick to the simple stitches till you learn you learn how even to do the stitches then how to in the, do the patterns later okay slowly but uh, crocheting it's very easy and it's easy to learn okay so you you pull over You pull over like this. Okay. So you have to make sure your hedges are are uniform okay and uh, they are how do i say they are not um, once maybe lagging something or something but with time i i will also do another video now to make sure your hedges are as a beginner how to make sure your your hedges are uniform okay so basically that's how you do the crocheting if you're an absolute beginner you don't know where to begin so yeah i hope you have understood something and as you can see even with this it has formed a particular pattern you see so you can use it for blankets you can use it for for sweaters for baby blanket yeah it's uh it's not a bad you can also use it for for scarves you see 
looks really nice so don't be scared to try and don't be scared to begin everybody begins at some point so uh, be courageous and begin your your learning lessons on uh, on how to do crocheting okay i wish you all the best as you start to learn so thank you very much uh, i hope you subscribe uh, and see you next in the next uh, video thank you very much